Yes, my dudes, I'm Alex, and thanks for checking out another Beat Breakdown. Now, today, I've got a 7-8 banger for you. Cinematic orchestra, flight, we've got Luke Flowers on drums. I've been to see him a few times, and he just kills it every single time. So, let's go straight for it, and check out the tune live, and then we'll see if we can break it down. What a sick sounding groove, man. And Luke Flowers has just got such a nice touch on the kit. I thought it'd be a sick one to go for. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that this was actually one of the first tunes I ever learned in an odd time signature, probably about a decade ago now. So for me, this one's gonna be really fun. It's a song that I've been playing for a little while and I'm stoked to break it down. The track is in seven, eight time. That means we're gonna be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's 137 BPM. first thing we're going to do is we're just going to play our bass drum on one, three and five. Okay, so let's give that a go. So we got our bass drum in there, giving us some nice low end, and it almost gives us this dancey, four on the floor kind of feel, if it wasn't for the fact that we're missing an eighth note from every bar. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our right stick on the hi-hat and our left stick on the snare drum, and we're just gonna play a single stroke roll in 16th notes over the top of our bass drum pattern. If you can, try and ghost note the left hand, and let's have a little listen to how that's gonna sound. So just adding those singles in there, the groove starts to take a little bit more shape. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna give it a bit more of a backbeat sound. So there's loads of room in here for variations and improvising. But one thing that I've noticed, which is pretty consistent throughout the tune, is we're gonna play an accent on beat three of the bar by bringing our right stick down to the snare drum. We're also gonna play an accent on the 16th note in between beat six and beat seven with our left stick, giving us that seven, eight backbeat kind of sound. So let's give that a go. Cool, so now we've got a bit more of a groove, let's start to experiment with it. So one thing that you can just make so much of a difference with is dynamics. So we're just gonna keep our hands playing single stroke rolls, but let's start to experiment with different accents. So we want that nice contrast between accents and ghost notes, but this is gonna really help our groove pop. So we haven't even really changed what we're playing. 
Still, just playing singles, but by starting to experiment with the accents and the dynamics, instantly we've got so much more that we can improvise with. Now, something else that I've noticed Luke Flowers playing quite a lot in the tune is he'll move his singles between the snare drum and the hi-hat in different combinations to get different sounds. So that's something else that we can start to experiment with. Let's improvise a couple of different ideas and see what we can come up with. So something else that I've noticed Luke Flowers plays quite a lot in this tune is he'll just play drags into different 16th note rhythms. Now drags are such a sick rudiment man because you can play any rhythm that you already know and if you just add a drag to the front of it, it gives it a slightly different feel and it gives you a different textural option. I'm a massive fan of playing drags man and I play them quite a lot in my own stuff and I've definitely taken some influence from the playing of Luke Flowers and I've used it in my own playing. So I'm just gonna play you a few different options where I'll start to incorporate some drags into this kind of feel. Get onto your kit at home and see if you can come up with some of your own examples as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, I just chucked about a million drags into that groove and it might have been a little bit overkill, but you get the idea and I'll leave it down to you as to how you want to use them in your own playing. Each one of these concepts that we've looked at can sound sick in its own right, but for me it's when we start to combine them that the groove really starts to come together. And this is something that I really like about Luke Flowers is it's not just what he's playing, but it's the way that he plays it, it's the subtle stuff like the ghost notes and the accents and the drags. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of an improvisation in the vein of the track and try and add some of these concepts in there. Have a little listen to what I play and of course, jump onto your kit and see if you can have a go as well. Now we're starting to sound a bit more like it. Such a sick groove, man. If you're digging the videos, hit subscribe and bring them on out every single Wednesday, 12 p.m. I want you in that Wednesday crew, man. If you go and learn the track, tag me up on Instagram. It's just at drumhubtuition. But for now, let's see if we can play Cinematic Orchestra Flight. 